Hey everyone, with the wrapping up of Adobe Max, I'm gonna be updating my InDesign 2 version 25. Wait. 20? Everybody else is at 25 plus. What's going on? Just kidding. All jokes aside, I'm actually very excited about this new update for Adobe InDesign 2025. There are actually a number of very, very useful updates in this one that I really appreciate coming from Adobe. I'm going to save the most simplest and my favorite for last. So make sure you stay tuned for that. First off, we're going to teach everybody how to update it. It's not automatic for everybody. So we're going into the Creative Cloud desktop going over to the app section. And in the app section, you can see that in your installed apps, there's going to be a lot of different updates. You can click view update and update the one that you actually want to update. All right, everybody, the first feature we're gonna go over is the contextual taskbar. It is new to InDesign and it just makes everything a little bit easier. So in order to enable it, we're gonna go up to window, go down to contextual taskbar, and you can see that there are several options that you can choose from. One is adding a frame, which makes it super easy to go into the rectangular frame tool. Another thing is you can start with an image. So for example, if I want to import a file, it's all very easy and super accessible and you can drag images in. You can also do things like start a type tool. You can play around with the margins and columns. You can also add pages right here. In addition, you can move this taskbar anywhere you want and you can also pin and hide this taskbar straight from the taskbar itself. Okay, that'll lead up to the next feature that we're going over, which is Generative Expand. So on this page, you can see that I have this image that I want to drag out and fill up the entire page. What I can do is select the frame and then drag it all the way out to the margin. You can see that in my taskbar, a new feature called Generative Expand is going to appear. I'm gonna hit that. You can put in something if you want. Like for example, if I want a suit, I can put that in and it'll generate that for me or you can leave it blank and click generate. So here you can see that it's gonna give me three different options on the right here in the text to image, and you can play around with them to find one that you like. With the contextual taskbar up, as well as the text to image tab up, we can also go into a blank slate frame like this and click text to image generation. Now this is an improvement from the previous version because it integrates a little bit more of Firefly and the amazing UI that comes with it. So here it's gonna bring up a nice text to image tab and I can give it the different parameters that I want in order for it to generate an image. All right, the next feature is going to be Math ML. So InDesign has made it really easy to insert math equations into your InDesign document. Now, personally, I'm not a big user of math equations, but I'm assuming it's gonna be super easy for anybody that's making scientific publications. We're gonna go up into Windows and then go and switch on Math Expressions. So now you can insert a Math ML expression. So I'm gonna paste one over here and then you can convert that into a expression preview and just go ahead and place this in the document itself. Now, just like any SVG object, you can expand it, you can change things like the stroke, you can change things like the color, and that will be nicely integrated into your new document. All right, the next feature is gonna be exciting for sharing documents with clients, as well as using Adobe Express to quickly edit your documents. All you have to do is go into File, and go down to export to Adobe Express. When you click that, it's gonna move everything onto a editable layer on Adobe Express. If you wanna learn how to use Adobe Express, I have a great video for that to get started here. Now what's cool about this is you can actually go up to the top right and share it with any client that might want to see it in action or just move some elements around. You can click on any of the elements to let AI rewrite any of your sections. In addition, you can right click on some of the elements and lock them so that other people cannot edit it on your document. Now the next one we're gonna go over is history and history is super cool because you can revert the document or make it go forward in time, backward in time, you get the point. So. We're gonna go up into Windows and then we're gonna scroll down into History. This is brand new and I'm just gonna drag this out so we can see it a little bit better. Now you can see that it's gonna record all of the different moves that I made in this document. I can go back and select any of these moves in order to see what I did and you can select the most recent move to go back to where you actually were. Now the thing about this that I think is really cool is you can go into any of these steps and you can actually create a brand new document from the step. So you can see up here that I have another alternate document that is a derivative of what I have here, but it's created from my histories tab. So 
you want to make quick revisions and alternates, this is a great way to do something like that. Now, before we move on to the next cool InDesign feature, I just wanted to mention that if you're still looking to get InDesign, I have an affiliate link down in the description below, where if you're already looking to get Adobe InDesign, you can help this channel out by getting it through the affiliate link. And it's a great deal for students, so make sure you guys pick that up and help the channel out. I really do appreciate it. So let's move back into the new features. So with the news release of Adobe InDesign 2025, it comes an export option to HTML5. Now this is super important because this feature lets you take your designs from print to the web with ease, maintaining interactive elements, such as things like hyperlinks, animations, multimedia content. One of the best things about it is that your design will actually stay interactive and will adjust to different screen sizes, which means that it looks great no matter what device you use. And not to mention making it super SEO friendly because your text stays selectable which is a huge game changer. In order to export to HTML5, you're gonna have to go into File, Export, and then now there is a new HTML5 option. So in the option box that pops up, you can go ahead and do things like enable password protection, change the title, change advanced options like your format resolution and JPEG quality, as well as embed SEO analytics into your document directly. Next one is going to be enhancements to how you share and how other people can comment on your document. Now, for those of you that never use Creative Cloud, this is a great time to actually try it out and they made it super easy to do so. All you have to do is go up to the top right here, click share, and after you type in a link name, you can change who has access and then create a simple link. It's gonna get that link super fast for you and you can just go ahead and copy this link, share it with whoever, and they'll be able to edit this document with you. All right, and saving the best for last, we have a enhanced hide page feature. Now, with the previous release, we were able to hide the pages, but if you guys remember, you can actually still see the pages and it'll still show up. Now, if we go ahead and hide page number one, if we don't actually want to use this, you can see that it actually disappears. I literally cannot access it anymore. And it just makes it a lot easier for you to go into the document, hide some pages, and it doesn't show up, it doesn't export, it doesn't anything. It just, it just makes life so much easier. I love this feature. Thank you, thank you, Adobe. So with that, that is all the exciting features in the new release of Adobe InDesign 2025. What do you guys think? Did we get some really cool stuff? What are some things that you would have liked to see that didn't or did make it into this release? Let me know down in the comments. And if you like this content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, share with your friends. And with that said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.